Hi guys, I'm Daniel from the student recruitment team here at RMIT and today I'll be talking about moving to Melbourne. So it's really exciting that you want to come and study in one of the world's most livable cities. Melbourne is a hub for all things arts, culture, entertainment, food and dining, markets, sports, so if you're interested in things like AFL or soccer, shopping and outdoor experiences. So it's a really, really exciting place to live. Today I'll be talking about a range of things, including our campuses and centres, uh, getting around Melbourne, employment support here at RMIT, accommodation options, as well as scholarship options with RMIT. So let's get started. The campus which you study at will actually depend on what you're going in to study. If you're interested in studying something like architecture, business, communication or law, you'll be studying at our Melbourne CBD campus. If you're interested in education, health sciences or some of our engineering programs, you'll be out at our Bandura campus. Our Brunswick campus is our home of fashion and we also have our flight training centres in Bendigo and in Point Cook. So depending on what you want to study will, will depend on where you will study. Getting around in Melbourne is also really easy. So um, in terms of public transport, you'll need to buy a Mikey card if you're wanting to sort of travel in, within Melbourne. And our three Melbourne campuses are really accessible by bus, train or tram, as well as there's metered parking at the Bundura and Brunswick campus. Full-time undergraduate students will also be eligible to apply for a concession card and RMIT can help you with this process. Some of the things you need to factor in though when you're moving to Melbourne is your cost of living and allowances. So um, you need to consider things like rent and how much this might be and we estimate it will be anywhere between $120 to $300. Other utilities might be electricity, gas and water, phone and internet as well as other home setup costs. It's also important to consider things like how much um, money you want to allocate to food throughout the week as well as how much is it going to cost you to get around and how much money you're wanting to allocate to entertainment. So, so we've got a sort of rough indication on the screen at the moment so it can be anywhere between $30 to $100 and as you'll see a restaurant meal is roughly anywhere between $17 to $40 and a movie ticket's roughly around $18.50. RMIT have a range of employment support services available to our students as well and this can really help you when, the, when you make the move to Melbourne. So we have on offer a range of free resume and cover letter review services. Uh, we can assist you with interview preparation, help find employment and, and job opportunities. Uh, we organise a range of career workshops and events, develop job ready programs including mentoring and other range of events, um, provide online career resources and we also provide support to graduate and final year students. Uh, in terms of our student accommodation, we're able to support you with our range of services, including looking through housing and accommodation, legal and financial support services, as well as a range of other opportunities. So in terms of what RMIT sort of will support you with, they're sort of listed on the screen at the moment. So if you're interested in moving into one of our purpose-built student accommodation partners, and I'll run through that in a little bit, we are able to support you with renting and sharing opportunities as well, student hostels as well as home stays. In terms of our purpose-built student accommodation, these are partners that RMIT work with to provide really supportive um, environments for our students to live in. So in terms of the benefits in, in living with purpose-built student accommodation, or PBSA for short, um, this give you, gives you the opportunity to live with other RMIT students. You pay one bill, which includes things like uh, electricity, water, internet. Um, as well as its secure access. So quite often you'll have swipe card access into your room as well as into the building. So it's really got that 24 hour security access that um, students quite often like. They're fully furnished rooms as well. So you won't have to go looking at Ikea for a range of different things. Um, and it's got a community um, and social vibe to it as well. So they'll run things like movie nights, cooking nights, Game of Thrones nights, you name it. So um, it's really quite easy. And for those that have never done their own and laundry there's also uh, quite often laundry facilities on site as well so really quite helpful and RMIT can support you finding the right purpose-built student accommodation for you. In terms of where our approved properties are these range from being in the heart of the CBD 
out to Carlton as well. So it's really, really important that when you're exploring and looking through our accommodation options here at RMIT, you sort of go through each of these providers that are on the screen at the moment and work through where you might want to live and the different types of facilities that are available. So on the screen at the moment is our range of approved RMIT properties. So these range from being right in the heart of Melbourne CBD out to Carlton. And what you want to be looking at is the, based on what's on the screen at the moment, doing a little bit of your own research as to the kind of facilities that each of these partner properties have. So they might have a range of different um, living opportunities. So whether that's you want your own room or you want shared accommodation, as well as they'll have different types of facilities. So shared kitchens, shared communal areas, and it's about finding the right fit for you, both in terms of the living arrangements as well as the costs. So be sure to sort of reach out to each of these providers and some of them might even have their own scholarships for RMIT students, which you're welcome to research as well. If you're interested in studying at our Bandura campus, accommodation is available on campus out at Wallert House. So it's a sort of a really easy for our Bandura students to sort of just rock up to class and wake up about 10, 15 minutes before class because they're living on campus. Wallert House has 370 beds available and these range from sort of two, three and four bedroom shared apartments. There's spacious study spaces available and it includes different facilities like a cinema room, an outdoor barbecue area, gourmet kitchens and pool tables and games rooms. Um, there's also free laundry services available and there's um, security available as well. So if you're interested in living out at Bandura, it's really quite easy in terms of accommodation. For our students when they're making the move to um, live in Melbourne, we obviously want to make sure that their safety is their number one priority and there's a range of support services available to them. So on our campuses, there's 24-hour campus patrol at all campuses. There's a range of different services as well. So there's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander support, accommodation support. There's a courtesy shuttle bus for our Bandura students. So this can take you in between the shopping centres in Bandura as well as to the closest tram stops. Um, there, we have chaplaincy support services available, diverse gender, sexes and sexuality support, um, as well as equitable learning services, health services, mental well-being and counselling support services, as well as our own Safe Zone app. So this is really quite um, unique to RMIT and the students can download an app and have a range of support services available to them on their phone. When you're looking to make the move to RMIT, it's also really important to um, consider your scholarship options. So scholarships are great for um, allowing you to uh, fund some of your studies, your entertainment. Um, a, a lot of the time they can support you with um, buying books and resources as part of your classes. And we have a range of categories available here at RMIT and they're currently listed on the screen. So whether you're Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, if you're a high academic achiever, you're interested in accommodation and you want to know the scholarship opportunities there. If you after equity support, external, uh, we have a range of external um, scholarships available, international opportunities, programs specific um, scholarships, travel or scholarships specific for women as well. There's a whole range and these are available on our website for you to explore. When you're looking to make the move to Melbourne, it's really important that you, you're sort of working through with your family and friends as well, some of the considerations listed on the screen there. So which RMIT campus or site will I be studying at and how far do I want to live away from that site? So am I an early bird and will I make it to class on time But if I live sort of 20 minutes away or should I be as close to campus as possible? How much can I afford for rent and how much are the costs for different spaces? What type of accommodation suits me? So do do I want private living or do, am I happy to sort of share with other people? How am I planning on tra travelling to campus and what is close to the accommodation that I'm looking at? So do I have shops at my fingertips, cafes, bars, medical assistance and parks? Will it be noisy? So um, if you're from interstate or a country town, it might be really, really quiet. The Melbourne CBD is quite a hustle and bustle of activity. So this is another thing to consider. What facilities and amenities are available at my chosen accommodation and when do my classes start to ensure I settle in? 
If you're um, considering um, studying at RMIT, um, a lot of our purpose-built student accommodation um, providers will allow you to put down an offer, and then if you don't get into RMIT, we can refund you the funds that you've put down. So no need to stress with that, but that's another consideration for you if you're looking to not use a purpose-built student accommodation. Um, and you also need to start looking for accommodation sort of between August and September of the year before you want to uh, start studying at RMIT. So it's really good to have your options laid out. But like I said, there's a range of considerations on the screen for you at the moment. Thanks so much for listening today, guys. I hope you found out some valuable information about moving to Melbourne with RMIT. If you're after any further information, feel free to visit the study with us page on the RMIT website. Thanks.